the one thing that was a little tricky and I wanted to talk to you guys about in particular, um, and I've talked about it before, you know, and I just want to elaborate a little more, was they had a house system here, okay? They had a house system. Now, I guess it depends on the market, but it's becoming more and more and more and more and more and more popular. All these, all these places putting in their house systems. And this place in particular, they love their house system. They said, oh, it's the best, right? And, uh, you know, and they, a lot of them say that, you know, and, and it, of course, I don't, you know, you can't expect a venue to have the same type of shit we have, right? You know, because we kind of go all out, um, you know, and it, it's very rare, right? There's only a handful of venues that have like legit house systems and the rest are kind of like in between, right? Well, this house system in particular consisted of six 12-inch Behringer speakers on rafters up in the roof. There was other speakers. There was like a little 15-inch Eon sub underneath the stairs, but it wasn't on, I, I, you know, whatever. So I, I, I plug in, I saw a bunch of speakers, not just the Behringers, but other ones too. So I'm like, all right, well, maybe it's legit like all together. So I plug in and I test it out. And, you know, it was all highs and mids, right? So I asked him, I was like, hey, um, do you think, like, is everything on? or all the zones on? Because, like, I feel like this stuff is, no, 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 it's all on, it's all on. Try it again. It's not all on. There's no way, right? So then I, then I asked another person, right? Hey, do you think all the zones are on? Yeah, yeah, it's all on. No, you're, you're maxed out. You're good to go. It's all good on your end. I'm, okay. So I'm not going to push it, right? They're not all on. Okay, these subs aren't on. Or if they're, they're on, they're very low, Okay. Regardless, they have it set the way they want to have it set. I'm not going to push it. I'm going to just keep it moving, right? So what I did to supplement this, and I've talked about this before, was to basically have monitors, right? You got to have your own monitors um, or a monitor at least. So what I did was I take one of my tops. Um, I have an HDM45 RCF top. It's a monster, monster 15-inch top, right? Use that as a monitor and supplement my sound with that. So life is grand. We're using the house system. We got the monitor, but we could just point the monitor a little bit at the crowd uh, from where I was set up, like in the balcony. I basically had, um, I used two tops in this situation because I was so far away. I used two tops, one on either side of me as monitors, but I literally pointed them at the crowd and that was able to supplement the system. But you'll find that, and what I ran into here Early on during cocktail hour, uh, they were like, hey, listen, like your monitors are so loud. Like that's all we hear. We don't even hear the house system. And I want to say, well, it's because like, you know, <laughs> this is, there's, there's a little bit of a difference here, you know, between uh, equipments. And that's probably why one's louder than the other. But OK, you want a more even sound. I get it. You don't like that. OK, because, you know, if, that's my first that's my first rule. Right. I'll, I'll set up the monitors. I'll um, or monitor and I'll just crank that up when I need extra headroom and that's it and have it supplement it, keep it pushing. And then usually during dancing later on the night or whatever, you know, it's kind of mostly coming from my monitor and I'm not using the house system too, too hard because I don't want it to peak and fart and sound like shit. Right. So you don't want to like, you know, you don't keep it level like that. They said something. So I had to rerun it. Um, a lot of times I'll put my monitor on my monitor, but in this case, since they said, Hey, you know, uh, your monitors are overpowering our system and yada, yada, yada. I switched it. I decided to put my monitors as my main speakers and then put the um, the music through the system, through the house system, out my monitor, right? So I hooked into the house system with my monitor port. And this is something where, you know, I always preach this, but this is something where having an external mixer makes all the damn difference. This is what I use. You can use any external mixer you want, okay? As long as you have an external mixer, uh, most of them have like the same features. This comes in handy big time because you'll say, you might say, oh, well, Nick, you know, my controller, it's got, it's got a monitor output, right? I could just put it on the monitor and control everything. But there's one big major difference when it comes to using just your controller and using an external mixer. And that is those little green knobs there. You see those little green knobs that go across every channel? This allows you to choose what is ran through your booth, right? It allows you to choose which channel is run through the monitor, through your booth out, which is super clutch. And you can make it where it's not too loud, you can adjust it, you can make it all the way, or you make it completely off. This is super clutch because when you're dealing with a really, really shitty house system, right? That's just all highs and mids. It's just, they're not good speakers. They have like very high crossover rates, right? So when you, you know, the, the main problem with that is they might sound good with music, not sound good, but they'll get the job done when it comes to music, right? You can blast music on them and everything's fine. But when you get on the mic on these house systems, it's literally going to sound like you put a blanket over everything. You're going to, like, that's literally what you're going to sound like, right? Like, 
because the, they're not good quality speakers. They have high crossover rates, all that stuff. So, you know, that's the biggest problem is the microphone. So if you want to work well with a house system and what I did this past Thursday and what I highly recommend is basically what I did was I made my main stuff, my main stuff, right? And then that's where my mic went through. But then I didn't run the, my mics through the house system at all, right? At all. Only through my main. So when I wanted to get on the mic, pump up the crowd, put your hands up, let's hear it for the couple, that sort of thing, right? During introductions, toasts, all that stuff. Anything to do with the mic, but particularly, definitely with dancing, because I already had the music blasting at that point. I own, my mic only went through my main stuff. So it didn't peak their house system. It didn't make their system sound like shit, right? And it didn't make my mic sound like shit. So everyone can hear me. I was effective on the mic, but then their system was still blasting the music and everything was great. And then they felt like everything was kind of even. So that's the major key. You know, when, when you're using external mixers, not only are you going to have better preamps, not only are you going to sound better, have more headroom, have more channels, have a better way to hook up, you know, have videographers hook up to you for sound and all that great stuff, all those benefits, right? And I'm not selling this mixer, buy whatever mixer you want. Okay. I'm not selling that. I'm just saying it's just so crucial to use one that you can also you know, adjust what goes through your monitor so you can work better with these house systems. You know, that's what really kills these house systems is your microphone. That That's literally, that's where they struggle. You know, you can buy a cheap set of speakers and you can blast music on them and you, and it'll sound decent, right? It'll sound okay. And, and it'll get by. Average person is going to say, hey, this sounds like shit. They're just going to dance. It's loud enough. They can hear it, you know, over conversations and you keep it pushing. But when you're blasting music and you jump on the mic, that's what separates good sound systems from shitty sound systems because it's going to be pretty evident. It'll, it'll peak everything. You're going to just sound, woo, woo, woo. you're going to sound like the Charlie Brown teacher, right? So, this is a great solution for that. Definitely something to consider. Catch my show live every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time.